Welcome to our video series about the next phase of development for the project. Unfortunately, due to the risk of coronavirus, we'll be filming these videos from separate locations. For the members of our community that have had to deal with coronavirus already, our hearts really go out to you. For those in the community that have not yet had to confront this virus, we encourage you to stay safe. With that said, the core team is excited to announce that Pi will advance to phase two of development on Pi Day 2020. Phase one began on Pi Day 2019, when we launched with a goal of reaching 1 million pioneers. Less than a year later, together, we have built a community of over 3.5 million pioneers. Now that we've built this diverse global community, we're ready to move on to the next phase of development. Phase two of the project has two goals. First, building value. Second, decentralizing the network. Let's focus on the first goal, building value. Building value means setting up necessary infrastructure that create intrinsic utility of Pi by enabling people to buy and sell at scale for services and goods. Unlike most crypto projects that primarily focus on technology infrastructure, Pi Network always believe that technical infrastructure and the economic adoption and utility should be developed together and grow in parallel. The primary way we will achieve this goal of value building this year is by creating an application platform that scale healthy transactions of Pi. One of the biggest questions about cryptocurrencies is what gives them value? Pi's answer is real intrinsic utility. Pi will be backed by useful online and offline applications, as well as real goods and services. With over 3.5 million engaged pioneers, we can now iterate various real-world applications that enable members of the community as well as external parties to spend Pi to tap into the time, attention, talents, resources, and services of our global community. The application platform will allow third-party developers and providers, so not just the core team, to create various applications in different domains and specialized areas. We together will build Pi application ecosystem, and this ecosystem will lay the very, very important foundation of a healthy market of strong utility of Pi, creating demand for cr the currency itself and building the value of the network. Okay, so the second goal of phase two is to decentralize the network of Pi, building Pi's testnet. The decentralization is a key aspect of Pi's philosophy. We fundamentally believe that everyday people should have a greater say and should be able to capture a greater share of the value they create in society. We believe that the best way to achieve this goal is by building a decentralized currency and a decentralized economy. Unlike centralized payment systems like PayPal and traditional banks, Pi's transactions will eventually be validated by a decentralized network of computer nodes. During phase two, we will build and release the first version of this node software and start building Pi's testnet. Our intent is to make the Pi nodes people-friendly and accessible by everyone, so you don't need to have a computer science degree to run a Pi node. While we're excited about the next phase of development of the project, one of the most important challenges we'll confront is ensuring that we have the resources that we need to achieve our goals. Today, there's still just eight core team members supporting a global community of over 3.5 million pioneers. That means that there are 400,000 pioneers for every single core team member. In addition to that, our server costs and phone verification costs alone are currently costing over $30,000 per month. As we enter phase two, one of the biggest questions in people's minds may be, how quickly can we get to phase three or mainnet? The greatest variable that it will determine how quickly we can advance to this phase will be the human and financial resources that we have to get there. 
With that said, over the course of the next few days, we'll be releasing two additional videos to further elaborate upon our phase two strategy. The first video will focus on our strategy for building value by creating an apps platform for Pi. The second video will focus on how we will begin to decentralize the network by launching the first version of Pi's nodes and building our testnet. We'd love to get your feedback on our initial strategy for phase two. We are accepting both text and video responses in the topic below. For video responses, we ask that you upload a video to either Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube with the hashtag PiPhase2. We look forward to your responses and your feedback, and we're really excited to be embarking on this next phase of development with you.